for Inspire? Morgana. Okay. Huh. So that will be mid lane. Mid. Okay. Yeah. And then everything slots in. That makes sense. Make sure to join the join the discussion on Twitter. Hashtag HMA win and hashtag IE win. May be able to move out and get Dragon instead if they were going to opt for it. Oh, cause Q forced to flash or feel the second bomb. Max Law is there though, and they are lining up for a perfect Q potentially. Lands two auto attacks and. The binding, nice dodge by Santa, and doesn't have his flash, uh, doesn't have his ultimate, rather. And this maybe could be a dive, but this is so risky. He's just weak has taken so much damage. Word of now tanking up the turret. He's the one who can do it most effectively as Ramus with the defensive ball curl. They're getting a lot of damage onto this tower. It will probably drop to about 50% at maximum um, before Inspire shoved them away. So I'm not sure how good this is for Huma. They're being pushed away. End of the line lands from Maxwell. He's now out of mana. Word of charges up the power ball. And Warlight is just aggressing forward slowly, and I think they have repelled the push, while Sartorius has been getting free farm in the top lane. And yeah. it's fairly effectively, only really top lane that has a difference. He's just harassing them away from the wave while Holy Things will pick up all the juicy farm. Mid lane Godbro, he has Chrono Shift, so he won't die from this. Um, that was a little early, but either way, it's difficult to predict how much damage will come out from, from Class Q there. Every time a double bomb attempt is made. Until Zillion gets like 40% cooldown reduction. Wurlup is under attack from Maxor and Sartorius, but he is very tanky with defensive ball curl up. He gets one extra second as he goes into power ball before it wears off. So you can just ult and then Zonyas and make people run away from you. And then we find his righteous glory. But we do have the TP going into the bottom lane under this tower. Let's we'll see if Huma can take down the tower first before going for this trade, because it's a 5 versus a 3. But they separate Holy Phoenix from the pack, the 3v5. IE are making it work. Shisui Cast dropping low. Wurlup taking one more tower shot. That's a double kill from Wurlup. Gorbro gets bound up. He's going to be taken to punishment. Has the Chrono Shift. He'll be popping it on himself. Santrin is low. He has the Lamtra Spite. This will be a very difficult trade. But it's 2 versus 3. And he might make it happen. Oh, the double! The Dance of Arrows, the first kill, the second, the third, and Santorin goes huge. Santorin, usually the supportive style jungler, just picks up a triple kill. So Godbro is playing kind of a, a mix between the two with the Zillion, and it's Santorin that's playing that third carry. Does uh -oh. get himself the Rift Everyone's grouping up for a potential Malphite ultimate. He has the Flash and the ultimate. Maxdor picks up the kill, the collateral damage before Satorius jumps in. Uh, Holy Things would be the, the one to really go big in this game as he is one of the major down threats. Uh, Whirlup has popped his ultimate. He's in the middle of the enemy team. He's tanking up a lot of damage, but there is simply no team with him. There is no Huma. So even though he basically gets a full channel uh, or full aura of his tremors off, he did fairly chop the team. And that's really weird because you'd expect Godbro to want to fight in that kind of situation. Ooh, nearly took the dragon. That's because we have a mini map <laughs> so that shows yeah. us. Um, Oh, Willip died. Um, oh, Santorin just dance of arrows right into a binding. Is it a binding? No. Nice but side step. Where's the follow-up? So it was just ult and then running into him. Oh, okay, got it. Bunch. Oh, Bunch. did he? Uh... Okay, no, the taunt came later. Okay, yep. I was going to say, did he black shield the taunt? But... You can actually see how much damage Ramus does. Like, yeah. in that long trade where you can't instantly kill him, Tremus does a lot of damage. So if you have armor pen, they also get your armor pen which is a surprising amount of damage because those little buggers hit hard. <laughs> so in a 1v1 trade, he actually wins out over time, that being the Malphite. We Ramus is already mid, mid here. Though. He's already on his way because Powerball, he'll flash, he'll go for the taunt. He's already tanking up the back line, has W on. Sancho trying to chunk down the own front line from Inspire. And now Whirlup will have to try and waddle away way back to his team. The Binding lands onto Sartorius. It could be enough burst. Landra Spite, now the re-engage by Sartorius, but not well timed. The hook, the dredge line, and Warlight will be going down. Holy Phoenix is getting so many stacks onto IE. He comes in for the Rens, but it actually just wasn't enough damage there. Everyone's so low from Inspire. And that means that Ahuma just stood there, got the heal from the end of it, and just stayed alive. And they're not done yet. Willy was looking to go aggressive after the teleport. Will finally look to take down that tower. Looked like uh, the Taunt tried to come out onto Koski, yeah. but it was black shielded there. 100%. Or, or Braum. Or really Graves. <laughs> so, actually, so just nobody. <laughs> so just Willy. He's yeah. going to have to go back to Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, Ramis is coming in. He doesn't have flash, remember, and that was a nice body block by Sartorius. So he'll be slowing down the engage from Whirlup or potential taunt coming out. Then comes the ultimate coming in from Wendelbo. Just we cast is so low. The ultimate is actually on from Godbro onto Nautilus, and Cosq uh, will kill him even though he didn't want to with the soul shackles. Whirlup will carry on following after a flash from Sartorius. No one wants to get taunted in this scenario. Holy Phoenix with the auto attacks onto Wendelbo. There's the taunt coming down, and he will secure that. Just don't start clearing out pink wards. And yes. just wards in general in the pit, just in case. Promoted minion is in the bottom lane, and it's on a cannon minion. So, <laughs> uh, because they have Baron, uh, and it's a cannon minion, we can name him. So, uh, I don't know what it's going to be. Oh, no, he's now, dead. Now, we're oh, going to find out. Very short lived. <laughs> I think. Fairly shortly. Oh! When the cool. hook in from Zasui Cast, and the instant cast of Chrono. Uh, Trigger? Yeah, it's like Chrono Break, Chrono Trigger. Chrono Shift? Chrono Shift, that's the one. And now he's quite tanky. He's picked up another health item as well. It's just Recast taking a bunch of damage. God, bro, already has his ultimate again, by the way. It's just Recast, he can die here again. Uh, actually, he's really dead because he didn't <laughs> get ulted. That time he didn't get ulted, no. scumbag. But, but they're going to use it on someone who's higher priority. Maybe Holy Phoenix. There's the cunning. Holy Phoenix actually wants to die here. And there's the Lantra Spite. We'll actually give him some healing. And he'll just kite back into this fight. Satori's dropping low, so is Maxlaw. And he'll be going down to Holy Phoenix who will get another pierce for the final kill, double kill in for a Holy Phoenix himself. God bro, it's gonna be throwing some clocks at the tower. And now the inhibitor as well. This will probably most likely be the game. There was a really optimistic ZZ Rob Portal in the middle of that yeah. team fight from Sidorius there. Oh, He's like, this will turn the fight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it doesn't hit champions. No, I know. Unfortunate. Know, but maybe they'll accidentally, because if you're like shift clicking as Callista, <laughs> maybe you'll hit the Z Rot instead. That's actually really good against AD. I'm going to mention it after, but because uh, Huma are looking to close out the game. Wendell Bow is trying his best to maybe get in front of the tower, tank some tower shots with Unbreakable, but this will be Huma coming in for the win here. A 10,000 goal lead, 11 to 6. Definitely a messy game, but a win is a win. 1 and 0 over Inspire in his first game of this best of two.